Uh, dishwasher is messaging me right now. I don't really want to see that. Go away. And then the last one, um, 652, right here is a pretty quiet spot. M8. Okay. So let's save that. Okay. <coughs> and then I will produce the video as. So this is the dimensions that you create in the beginning. Um, this is WMV right here. Uh, I use WMV instead of Move or the uh, MP4. Um, I've always liked uh, WMVs. But the thing is, you're going to need to create your own profile or profiles. Um, let me go through that process real quick. Um, I use the Windows Media Profile Editor 64 Edition. Um, most computers don't come with this. Most operating systems don't come with it. But you can download it from Microsoft. Uh, if you have 32-bit version, of course, get the 32-bit version. So basically, you come wh whatever name you want. You go to audio. That's fine. You want video. Don't care about script. And then you want target bit rates. Okay. So what we're going for is 5900 plus 192, which is 6092 uh, megs or 6.092. Uh, the reason for that, is I'll show you in just a second. Click on that. Basically, what you get here is you get 192 kilobytes per second, and what we actually kind of want exactly 5900 uh, kilobytes per second on the video. So this is what we get, and uh, we want stereo. Uh, this is higher quality sound that you actually need. Uh, I think what was it, um, 128 or something like that is what you actually need. 192 is CD quality, uh, which is beyond what YouTube offers. And then uh, this is this will definitely get you HD uh, 5900 uh, bytes per second. You can probably actually go down to about 4000, and you'll still get HD, but it might not be all the time. We want to make sure the video size is 1280 by 720. Now here's the difference between uh, forced and not forced. If you check mark that, then it will do whatever resolution you set at the beginning here. Like on this software, how I typed in the 12, uh, 1280 by 720, um, it will use whatever resolution I set it at. But um, if I do it this way, it's called forced. So it will force it into that. So if I did it as something else and then used a forced one, a forced profile, it doesn't matter what I typed in here, it will make it 1280 by 720. So that's kind of useful. And then you would save and close, and you do the whole process of naming it and doing whatever little other kind of miscellaneous things like the buffer size and all these different things, video smoothness. You can fuddle with those and figure out what you like the best on that. But I already have um, some... Oops, no. Okay, uh, I already have some set up. And you'll see that here. The next option is the profile. Uh, HD and HD forced. Um, I do. I I want to just do HD on this one, although it doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, so I select that. Um, this is once again you can double check and make sure how you want it to be output at. Okay. So the next one. Um, this is in case you want to put it into a web web page. Like you'll have a web page that just has it part of it. It's a kind of convenient process. And here's how you do the batch checks and processing. Uh, you get the marker options and you just. Um, produce multiple files based on markers. That's what it says there, in case you can't read it. And uh, so I select all of those things. Um, don't worry about zero, it has to be selected, but make sure you have all these selected. It doesn't matter really what their name, so don't worry about rename. Um, and so we'll create these uh, file names. I usually do new, actually. Oh, uh, actually, oh, I might have to do new too, because I haven't... Oh yeah, I, no, I, I renamed them already. Um, let me see, have I? Yes, okay. <coughs> So, all the new. So, um, put those uh, all together. And uh, that's what the files will be. It doesn't matter what their file name is because I'm going to show you uh, how I change file names. So, let's go finish with that. And it's rendering the project. You can minimize that and it'll be right here. Well, I got a whole bunch of software here. Um, so, what I do to rename all the files is AF2, uh, AF5 rename your files. It's free software. Um, basically, you click on Add, and let's say we wanted all these. Make sure that it's in order. So 11 through 19, open that. That way it'll show up 11 through 19 here. And let's say we want more information than that. Let's say we want to do spider-man space uh, web of shadows. Something like that. 
So then it would give me all this f uh, file name. And so it would change all of these to that. And all I have to do is click on rename and bam, it would do them all. Okay, so that's that process. Um, next, uh, once they're actually rendered, once this process is done, right now it's at 0.2%, which is pretty speedy. Uh, we go into Firefox. That's the only reason I use Firefox. Um, this right here is uh, Google Gears, essentially, multi-video upload. Um, you can add videos to list. I can do that in the meanwhile. So I, I, once they're created, I can do it from here. But I would select all of these and then click on Open. And so I'd, once that was done, I'd come down here. And uh, I would uh, put in their descriptions. Um, their, their title, their description, their uh, tags, and then I'd edit their options. Um, oh, I only do set it to gaming so that it, because it's game footage. And uh, so I upload it there. If for some reason you lose a backup of a file, um, here's another software right here. This is Orbit. Uh, this can basically download any component of a website, including YouTube videos. Uh, very nice software, uh, but it kind of ends up kind of stealing your ability to download. So it's like Every time you download, you download with Orbit, which can be a little bit annoying, but it's kind of useful nonetheless. And lastly, I found this software right now. I don't know if it's really good. I've tried it, and so far it was really quite nice. Um, but it's a process lasso, and it can force certain processes um, down in priority and f make sure that they don't end up using too much CPU, etc., etc. So that ended up uh, making it uh, very nice for me. Um, I was able to record footage at pretty good frames, and it didn't. Uh, my uh, recording was uh, unaffected by all of it. And um, so, this is a good software to use while you're recording with Fraps. So, these are all the different things that I use, and it uh, saves me a lot of time. And I hope that this helps uh, new uh, video makers um, have a save a lot of time in their process. Uh, I see a lot of people saying that they edit for like four and five hours, and I'm like, wow, I really can't imagine having to spend that much time editing. But yeah, uh, there you go, and I'll talk to you guys another time.